Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Nicole from Gen 20. Today I just wanted to talk to you about five ways to practice self-care through big life changes. Change is inevitable. All of us are going to face big life transitions, whether it's starting a new job, having a baby, starting grad school, moving across the country or across the city. And we all need to take time for ourselves during these changes to make sure we are really protecting our health and our minds and our bodies in the best way possible. So the first tip is to be gentle on yourself. Change can be really difficult to go through even if it's a positive change or maybe it's something you weren't expecting was going to happen. However, you really need to take time and focus on what you need to do and maybe that's taking a day off of work or sitting down and planning out exactly what you're going to be doing over the next few weeks. Or maybe it's just taking time to spend time with friends or maybe you need time by yourself. Really think about what makes you feel whole and be gentle with yourself and allow yourself to do so, that. Tip number two is to create a self-care routine. You need to find a safe and healthy way to release all of your built-up stress that is you're feeling from these big life transitions. You need to pick an outlet that's going to help lift your spirits and help you feel completely taken care of. So whether that's getting to the gym or talking to friends and family or maybe you just need a night in with Netflix on your own. Have those go-to activities that you know always make you feel better and when you have those in your back pocket it'll be easy to reach to them when you need them. Tip number three is to create a pro and con list about your big life transition. So sometimes change can feel incredibly overwhelming because there's so many different things happening, right? So by creating a pro con list you can really focus on the things that are positive about the situation and with the cons you'll know the negative things so you can create ways to combat them. Tip number four is to create bite-sized action steps. So by creating these action steps even using your pro con list from tip number three you can focus on things that are within your control and feeling in control during a big life change is massive. So for example, if you're buying a house for the first time, maybe you'll want to take a course on first time home buying or really get to know your local and state laws. So that way you know what you're facing and you can really focus on those and take steps that will make you feel more in control. And tip number five is to accept what you cannot control. There are certainly some things in life that are just completely out of our control. For example, losing someone, losing your job, your company going under, being in a car accident that's not your fault. Those things, no matter what you do, are still going to happen because life is a roller coaster. But trust me when I say that everything will be okay. You're going to be fine. You'll get through this. And reminding yourself of that when you're going through a big life change and transition can be so powerful. So thank you for watching. I hope these five tips help you make it through your big life transition. Let us know down below what you're going through and how we can help support you. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you soon. Bye.